hello you guys <laughs> welcome back to another vlog i am freezing right now it's so random it's march 29th and it's so cold right now in boston which is so weird because like it's been warm out this past month and then it's been like freezing so the weather's just so weird <laughs> during the spring you just never know what to expect like i literally was about to put all my puffers away and like all my hats and stuff because i was like i'm not gonna need any of this anymore and i'm glad that i didn't because it's so cold today i woke up and it was like 25 degrees and started the morning off by going to body squat i sat in the infrared sauna this morning which is like what i needed and then i just did a workout at the gym got a coffee this is my second coffee of the day i got an oat black and tan from la colombe and i used to be obsessed with the oat black and tan i haven't got one in so long i've been getting this coffee from starbucks cold brew with vanilla sweet cream or like the sweet cream cold foam and then two pumps of white mocha but i got this right now because i just like need something i have like a busy afternoon gonna go home and do like a bunch of work because i have a busy night tonight so that is what i got up to this morning but i just wanted to talk to you guys because i am leaving obviously the gym i just worked out and i feel so good right now and i haven't worked out in like the longest time like i've worked out here and there but i haven't been like on a consistent workout routine since like november and i feel like i was on it for so long a year and a half two years and then i feel like i just like got busy and fell off of my routine definitely during vlogmas i fell off because i was so tired i was just like letting myself rest and i wasn't getting up for my morning workouts and then to start the year off i was like traveling a ton and then it just like life got busy and i stopped working out and honestly what the heck i had no idea that these came off i got the airpod or air pod max yeah airpod max I got these and I didn't know that the ear thing came off. It's so weird. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so I started the year off and I just feel like I got busy. And then plus when Emma moved, like she was my workout buddy and it just made it so much easier to like go to workouts because we motivated each other. And I didn't realize like how much I actually relied on her because we had been working out together for so long, so consistently. And now that she's not here, I get like anxiety to like go to a workout class or go to the gym when I'm by myself. So I went to the gym today, got over my fear and it felt so good. And now I'm, I need to just push myself. I need to start going again. But one thing I did want to mention is I'm very proud of myself because I feel like in the past I was on such a strict like workout routine and I felt like if I didn't work out that day I would like beat myself up over it and it would like be on my mind and stress me out and I feel like I've gone so long with just like not working out I try to move my body more and like walk bring Milo on long walks and stuff like that but it is what it is and I'm just like proud of myself for like not obsessing over it because I definitely have in the past and also I feel like it goes hand in hand with like my relationship with food because I if you've been watching my videos for a while like I was vegan for a year and then I started eating like meat again and now I feel like I just eat intuitively and like I eat whatever I want like whatever my body feels like it needs and I don't like hold any attachment to food or anything and I used to be so obsessed with like eating completely healthy all the time and i just feel like i haven't been like that for like a little bit now honestly since like the summertime i feel like it really started <laughs> so that was my little talk about health and wellness i feel like i'm just proud of myself for not being super restrictive and like obsessed and like really hard on myself about it so that's something i wanted to say and also if you like fall off your routine or you don't go to the gym for a few months like it's okay it's not the end of the world i definitely don't feel as like strong as i did before but that doesn't mean i'm not confident in my body and i feel like i've gotten to the point where i don't work out to change the way that i look i work out to make myself feel better and uh, yeah it's just all like a process like a learning process i guess it's like not that serious so whatever um i'm gonna go home and i need to try this because i honestly don't even know if i like these anymore Ugh. this is so nasty 
I've honestly been having like real dairy <laughs> for the past few months and like this is not good. I don't know how I used to drink these every day. I think I need to order lunch because I, I don't even know what I have at home. I feel like I don't really have that much. So I'm gonna order, should I get Tate sandwich or should I get a Greco bowl? Okay, my camera's gonna die, but um, I'm gonna go pick up my lunch and I'll see you guys at home. <laughs> been a couple days since I last vlogged I'm gonna pick back up the vlog today and continue it and finish it off I want to try to edit it today and then upload it but anyway it is Saturday oh April 2nd Saturday April 2nd which is so crazy I just feel like this year has gone by so fast and it's just crazy but anyway I wanted to make a little matcha this morning I just went grocery shopping yesterday and got a ton of stuff like you guys have no idea. I bought so much stuff because I feel like I have just been traveling and like not home and then when I am home I've been eating out and just like not cooking or doing any of that and I just like really need to get back into that and like really crack down for the next two weeks because I leave for Palm Springs in two weeks. So I want to be able to just like eat at home and chill and uh, get ready for my trip because I know I'm going to be like eating out and having fun and doing all that when I go. So anyway. That's that. So I wanted to make a matcha this morning, but our ice machine, the ice machine in my fridge is broken. Like when I moved in, my landlord said that it was broken and there was nothing he could do to fix it. So that was kind of annoying because like I use obviously ice with like iced coffee, matcha, stuff like that, like even ice water. And I can't, I don't even like drink it anymore because I don't have ice. But we do have like a crushed ice machine that Emma got sent to her and it's just annoying because I thought that there was ice in it last night and there was ice before I went to bed and I woke up and it like all had melted. So I'm making more ice right now but I can't make an ice matcha which I was so excited about so I think I'm just going to do a coffee and maybe make like a little fruit bowl or something. To have right now I got my nails done yesterday though I want to show you guys what they look like I'm so obsessed with them I love the way that they came out I get the Aprez gel extensions and I get like an oval an almond oval shape I did two coats of I think baby take a vow it's an OPI shade and then um, my tip is funny bunny and then she did like a iridescent powder over the top and I'm so obsessed with them oh I love them one of my favorite things in my kitchen right now is this massive bowl of just fresh fruit, avocados, limes, lemons. Also, I really wanna make banana bread muffins, so I'm waiting for these. I, they're ready, I'm probably gonna look up a recipe today or call Emma, cause she's so good at making them and I've been like craving banana bread muffins with like little walnuts in them. And I'm gonna make those 
so I'll keep you guys posted. But I think for breakfast, I'm doing, I have like a ton of fruit. I, I Guys, I bought so much stuff, like you have no idea. So I'm gonna do bacon on the skillet this morning. I have all of this fresh fruit that I want to have on the side. I have mango, blueberries, and raspberries. I've been like craving fresh fruit lately, so I'm gonna do this. And then bacon, I don't know if I should do like a bacon egg and cheese or just do eggs and like a little bit of avocado and toast on the side. Hi guys, <laughs> me again. I feel like I just keep like vlogging and then um, I don't end up finishing the day because it's the next day now and honestly like i'm just gonna be completely open with you guys i haven't been as like consistent with my vlogging and like obviously this week vlog has been like all over the place because i have been hanging out with someone like seeing someone and we spent a lot of time together and it's just like i don't know i feel like i just like don't obviously vlog when we're together and then yeah so anyway i'm gonna vlog today because it is Sunday we're gonna vlog the rest of the day wrap this thing up call it and call it a week because this has been a little week in my life but before we get into the rest of the day I did want to do a little revolve haul for you guys because I have been talking about it I feel like I talked about it yesterday and I just have some pieces that I want to show you guys I will obviously link everything in the description my revolve favorites are always down below as well because I update those literally every single morning I grab my phone update my favorites list and i always have it linked in the description of my videos and i feel like i talk about revolve all the time but i truly just love their website because they have so many different brands and also their shipping is free and it's two day and it's so comes everything comes so quick you can order from a ton of different brands they have beauty products accessories clothes shoes literally everything and then if something in your order doesn't work out they give you a prepaid shipping label you just like peel it stick it back on the box and then ship it right back and they refund you within like a day or two back onto your original payment it's just super easy and um, honestly the most convenient way for me to shop so i just love it so much um this dress that you see behind me they have on Revolve, it's from the bar, and they actually reached out and sent it to me, and I'm so excited. I might wear this to Rachel's wedding in May, so I'm really excited about that. I just think it's gonna be perfect because her wedding is at the beach, so I wanna wear something um, that is like a little bit more summery. I don't know if this is what I'm gonna wear yet, for sure, but it's so cute, so flattering, just like silk, lightweight, perfect for when you're at the beach. But we will see, because who knows like if my vibe is gonna change between now and then. But I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into this little try-on haul, because I have a lot of cute pieces, and they've been sitting in my room on my little table thing for so long, and I've been like waiting to show you. So we're gonna do this, and then get on with the rest of Sunday. This is the first little top. It's just a plain black cropped long sleeve and it's like loose as you guys can see. I love this, perfect basic to have. Um, you can like wear it, throw it over your workout clothes, which I think would look really cute with like black leggings, sneakers, little socks. Also these joggers are Revolve as well and they're by the brand citizen of citizens of humanity i think and i got them in a size large they're just like very comfy and soft and then i got another little cropped t-shirt this is by the brand hours and i got it in a size small i always am looking for little shirts to throw over my workout clothes so this one is perfect and then i got this dress from house of harlow i got it in a size small it is so flattering and so stunning i just love how it's off the shoulder and i think it would be really pretty with like honestly i want to wear like a necklace that has like an emerald i feel like that'd be really pretty with like matching earrings and heels and the back is so cute it's like open back and has a little slit and then i got this little set from all the ways i got the bottoms in a medium and the top in a small it's cute these are what the shorts look like little ties on the side just cute to like lounge around the house in. I feel like it'd be cute for like summer um, when I have more of a tan, but super cute, love the ties, and it's really cozy. And then I got this really cool 
leather vest. It has like a complete open back. I think that it's so cute, especially like styled the right way. Um, I just threw it on with jeans because I'm going to show you guys these jeans that I got after. But I love this. I got it in a size small. And then I got this leather blazer, cropped blazer with the ties around your waist from ours. I got it in a size medium. I kind of wish I got it in a size small because it is a little bit big. But I am so obsessed with this. I had one like this before. I wore it last summer when I was in New York. And I will post, post a picture right here of how I styled it. But this is so fun. I love the tie. Oh, this is really cute. I can't wait to wear it Like once it starts getting warmer out. These are the jeans that I just had on with the tops. I love them. They're girlfriend denim, and I love the wash of them and how they're like not super high-waisted, but they're not like low-rise, and they still are a little bit tight on my butt, but like loose on my legs. They're just like a comfy casual jean, and I got these in a size 29. I did get two other pairs. This pair right here are so cute. They're like a high-waisted, um, oh, I think they have the name on the inside. Oh yeah, they have the name right here. These are the Girlfriend High Rise Boot Cut. I got these in a size 28 and they literally don't even fit over my butt. So it's just so weird how their jeans run. They're all so different. And these right here are more of like a baggy jean. I got them in a 29 because I thought that they'd be like baggy on my legs and I'd be able to take them in on the waist. But I definitely think I'm a 28 in this style um, maybe even a 27 so these are the low-rise boyfriend cute I like them but I need to exchange them for a different size and these right here I'm gonna try on for you guys next they are the low-rise boyfriend again but they are like light wash and they have some rips honestly what size did I get these in? I got these in a 29 as well, so we're going to see if these fit. And the ones I just had on were the High Rise Loose Straight in a size 29. So these fit really well. You could honestly, I could have probably gotten a 28 and have them be like a little bit tighter on my butt, like more 90s mom jean style. But these are really cute. I love these. So these are the jeans and... They are like a low-rise boyfriend, but this is how much room I have in the back. I would need to go get them taken in. I'm just worried that there would be too much fabric like here in the front that would be bunchy, but I guess that's like the point of like a low-rise jean. But I don't know. I love the style. Just like a chill, casual, baggy summer jean. All right, last piece I'm going to show you guys before I put all these clothes away. Um, I got this actually when I was in... LA from Revolve Social Club and it's just this really oversized Levi's jacket which I love. I want to do like an all denim look. White tank underneath, Levi's that match and then some like thin gold hoops. Make it like super 90s style but this is really cute. I got it in a size large. I love it. Taking off the sheets. I'm going to do laundry because today's Sunday. All my clothes laundry is mostly done but every Sunday is sheets day also i have a bunch of towels in there that need to be done so like sheets and towels on sundays to get ready for the week i have some linen sheets on my bed right now which i love during the spring and summer i just love the feeling of them um when i'm sleeping also don't mind my room it's like clothes everywhere we're gonna organize my closet too today but I just got these baby pink sheets for spring and summer. I don't know if I'm going to put them on my bed now or wait. I am putting away all of my <laughs> beauty devices that I have been using recently. I just want to show you guys because I've been really into the gua sha for months, which I've mentioned before. I have this one right here, the stainless one. I'll link it for you guys. You can get it on Revolve, and also you can get all these devices on Revolve as well. This is the New Face, and New Face actually sent me this in like 2019, like so long ago, and I never used it. And then I saw it trending on TikTok, and I finally figured out how to use it. Like I used to turn it on and be like, oh, it's broken, because I would put it on my face and nothing would happen. But you have to use like a gel and then um, glide it across your face. So I just like didn't know how to use it, but this really sculpts and tones your face. So I've been loving this. And also I just think that this 
is one of the best investments. It is pricey, I'm warning you guys, but it's so good. Like, I have been using it daily and I have seen such a difference. I don't have clean skin right now, so I'm not gonna do it on my face. I have like tinted sunscreen on, but you go like this and it literally like snatches your face, rolls it out, depuffs it. I'm obsessed. And then also right here, the light stim, which is so good for acne. It has blue and red, LED infrared. So I use this at nighttime, like whenever I have acne, it just helps. It's good for like inflammation and anti-aging, acne, redness, all that good stuff. So I love, love, love the light stim. And I just got this new Alta MD sunscreen. The tinted sunscreen I use, their regular sunscreen. My camera does not want to focus right now, but I use Alta MD's regular sunscreen and I really like it. And I put the tinted on this morning and it just like gives your face kind of like a nice little even glow. Um, it just doesn't have like full coverage or anything, obviously. Like I have like scars on my face from breakouts, which is so annoying. It's been like annoying me lately, but um, yeah, just makes your face like gives you like a little glow. So yeah. And one more product I wanted to share because my camera's blinking at me, it's gonna die. I've been using the Lash Food Eyelash Serum. So good. I feel like it really has been making my lashes look so much longer. Like I can actually feel it. And I just take it, it has a little wand like this, put a little swipe on my lash line, like on the top every night. And I love it. All right, I am trying on these pants because I forgot that I need to go to UPS today and drop off two packages of like stuff that I ordered and actually three because I got a package from Aloe earlier in the week and I put the leggings on, they have a hole in them. So I have to return an Aloe package and two packages from Forward, which is like Revolve's sister site. They have like different um, brands on their site than they do Revolve and they have a lot of like designer pieces on there as well. So I bought some stuff from Forward and I got it for Coachella, which I just finished placing all my orders last night for my Coachella outfits, you guys. I cannot wait for you to see them. I'm going to Palm Springs in a couple of weeks for Revolve Festival. I'm going with Revolve and I'm so excited. And I have all my outfits planned, picked out like, I spent so much time putting together these outfits and I just ordered everything last night So I really can't wait for you guys to see them Definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram because I, I am going to be posting Just like real-time updates like during the day and stuff obviously like pictures when I'm there and Stuff like that like before the vlog comes just because I'm gonna be like so busy um, Usually I post the vlog like once I get home, but anyway, I got some stuff. I'm returning this hat it's so cute and it just didn't like look right on me it had potential but i just didn't like the way that it looked it's by the brand casablanca and it's like a little bucket hat it's knit it's so beautiful i just thought it was cute too because coachella's easter weekend and this was like giving easter and I also ordered these pants that I have on. I have the other pair. I got them in two sizes. I got a 27 and a 28 because I didn't know, like I never know what size I am in pants. It's just so hard for me. But I tried on the 27 and they fit perfectly. But I, before I brought them to UPS, I did want to try on the 28 just to see like what they would look like if I got them taken in on the waist. So, oh, cause they're like a little bit, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I need to like tie this shirt up because I'm wearing a massive t-shirt. These are the pants right here. These are the 28 and they're just like too big on my waist. But if I got them taken in like this, they'd be like still loose like baggy which i love baggy clothes i just feel like way more comfortable when i'm wearing baggy clothes so these are the 28s i'm going to show you guys the 27s okay these are the 27s i think honestly i'm going to keep them because i thought that they were too tight like i don't know i just thought that they were a little tight on my butt but they look good okay yeah i'm going to keep the 27s 
but they're really cute. They're different. I love like baggy pants. They're corduroy yellow, like almost like tie dye. They're by the brand R13, and I saw Hailey Bieber honestly like two days after I ordered these pants right here. Hailey Bieber was wearing them in orange, and I was like, I knew that they were. I just knew they're different and they're definitely not for everybody, but I knew that they were cute um, And she justified that hi guys. I'm editing this video right now And I just wanted to end it off because it's the next day. I've started another vlog today So I'm gonna vlog a few days and then upload that so probably like I vlog today. I'll probably vlog tomorrow Upload it maybe Wednesday for you guys I'm trying to be more consistent with the vlogs. I also have a lot of fun, exciting things coming up, like trips and stuff, which I'm very, very excited about. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram. Also, I always have it linked down below so you can like keep up with all that stuff. But I'm going to go make dinner. I'm going to upload this video tonight. So when you see this, if you see this today on April 4th, I love you. <laughs> but um, anyway... Um, I'm going to go make dinner and get this video up on YouTube for you guys so you can watch. But I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog.